Terrorists win. Twenty years of Counter-Strike. To celebrate CSGO just dropped an update releasing the CS20 weapon case, including the exceedingly rare classic knife. Here we go. <laughs> For this video, we're giving away the Statric USP Orion and Minimal Wear that I play with. Time to switch back to the P2000, I guess, for me. To enter, just one, like the video, two, comment, and don't forget to put your trade link in the comment section, so in case you get randomly chosen, I'm just gonna send you the skin. That's it. This video is sponsored by Skin Baron. Shout out to them for jumping in and making this relatively small case opening that's about to happen reality in such short notice. Skin Baron is the CSGO marketplace. You can sell your skins for real money, cash out via bank, PayPal, and Bitcoin. Or you can buy skins a lot cheaper than the Steam Community Marketplace via a lot of payment options. Let me show you the example of the Deagle Blaze again. Buy it for 180 euro on Steam or 130 euro on Skin Burn. Easy choice, I'd say. If you want to check out Skin Burn, use the link in the description, please. In case you buy something via my link, I get a commission, which I will ultimately use to finance all these giveaways that I'm doing lately in my YouTube videos. So thanks a lot. Let's check out the update. In fact, yesterday, the developers already teased us with the video, hashtag TBT, throwback Thursday. It's goddamn Friday now, and I just want to let you see go developers know that I fucked up my sleep schedule last night thinking the update is going to hit. God, f And this was the video that they released. Honestly, when you think about it for a split second, it's quite ironic or funny in a way. Fortnite is doing a huge update, releasing season two, everything, a huge marketing stunt. PUBG is releasing a new season with like a season pass and new skins and uh, the whole shebang around it. Apex Legends, on the other hand, is banging it as well with a major update, a new gun, etc., etc. I don't really play that game that much, so I don't know much about the update, but I saw a lot of people tweet about it. And then Counter-Strike. We get a new knife. And that new knife is basically just a classic knife. And the whole world is getting excited. I find it quite funny that us Counter-Strike players can get excited over such a small thing. But holy hell, the exceedingly rare classic knife is back in the game. I spent years over years playing with this thing. So, I know, man. I have no clue how I got or how I am so excited about such a minor addition to the game. If you head over to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive blog, yep, oop, uh, there is the news update from today, from around 30 minutes ago, cash and release. Cash has been updated by FMP1 and Volcano and is playable on official servers in casual deathmatch and scrimmage. Casual being, well, casual deathmatch being, well, this official Valve deathmatch thingy. And scrimmage, we all know by now, is that matchmaking system where you do not lose or gain anything from your rank. It's literally just to test it out and mess around. I kind of already did that quite a lot in Face It, because Face It has already established a hub from day one of Cash's release. Now, I haven't released a video on the new cache yet, but I'll quickly run down my thoughts after what is the most important part of the update. The CS20 weapon case and who the hell gives a shit about the sticker capsule? <clears throat> Sorry, joking. Let's check out the sticker capsule quickly. Look, 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 it's me. It's me. <laughs> Too old for this. <laughs> Community made stickers. Honestly, kudos. Great job on all of the stickers. I'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description if you wanna take a cheeky look at all of them. Great stickers. I really just don't give a shit about stickers. On the other hand, here we go. Hey, go back. Here we go. The C. 
Fuck. The CS20 weapon case is featuring all of the community skins that people made for the contest and holy hell. So let me just run you down very quickly through all the skins and give you my very, 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 very short thumbs up or thumbs down. The Tech 9 flash out. It's a solid skin. I like. The Mac 10 classic crate. Eh, I'm still gonna stick with my Amber fade. The Mac 7 pop dog. That one is actually banging, dude. But I'm gonna still use my Pasha Mac 7 silver that I have. The Glock 18 sacrifice. Aimed at the graffiti from all of Meister on Overpass. Man, I like this case and the small little touches that they all have. The Fama's decommissioned. <laughs> it's nice as well, actually. The Scar 20 Assault. Uh, Dual Berettas Elite 1.6. Now, here we go with the nostalgia. The Peter 50 Inferno. 10 out of 10, dude. The MP5 SD Agent. <sighs> yeah. The UMP45 Plastique is nice. 5.7 Body is nice. M249 Aztec. I really want to have Aztec back. Why is Aztec not a thing in this world anymore? The P90 Nostalgia. Dude, like, how cool does a P90 get? The Orc Death by Puppy. Eh, that really isn't my case, to be fair with you. The MP9 Hydra. Now they really want to take the piss that they haven't had on operation in a couple of months, actually. But, I mean, skin is nice. The Orb Wildfire. That one is... The one that I need to get. Give me that orb wildfire right now. And of course, the farmer's commemoration in gold. <sighs> I need it, man. Actually, when I think about it, there's not a single skin in this case where I'm sitting here and being like, holy crap, that skin sucks. And I haven't had that in ever. There was always a couple of skins in the case where I was like, nah, man, I'm never going to play them. But I could see myself using every single one of these skins. And of course, the classic knife is back in the game so it's the very first finishes on the knives that are being presented that you can unbox and that you can then potentially of course play i just tweeted this out the new classic knife got me like am i the only one that sees it am i the only one that finds that actually funny <laughs> all right let's get it going cs20 case 10 cases <sighs> Honestly, I have zero expectations, but just look at these free shiny things down there. Oh boy. My excitement about this case is slowly but surely already dying. Four cases, four blues. <sighs> well, if you're wondering why you should not open cases, uh, these are these are the case openings on my stream from the last couple of, well, you know, forever. Don't mind that still out of knife slaughter and factory new. That one is the one that I'm using for the giveaway this month. So if you want to win that knife, description is always your friend. Good luck. And now I'd like to touch on the new cache just really quickly because a lot of people keep asking me about it. I've always been a fan of the cache. If you're like a regular stream viewer or something, you know that cache is one of my favorite maps, if not the favorite. Lots of people brought up concerns that the map didn't from the ground up got completely revamped and there is new ways and everything like that. I like it for me. The changes are so significant though. And I really like it that they kept the core layout and the basics of the map not that gray anymore. It's more welcoming, added a couple of ambient sounds. And then they, of course, added some major changes. Window, so they opened up the skybox and checkers, etc., etc., etc. What I specifically like about Cache, in a nutshell, new angles to explore, to peek from, new battles. I re really, really enjoy this tank on the A-bomb side. Why? You can now surf a little bit and you can peek with it. These small movement details on the A side are going to make a big difference. And they're going to be able to produce a couple of really, really cool highlights. I really want to see somebody getting run boosted up with this little barrel and making an entry or even a bigger highlight with two or three kills in middle via boost from the T side. If somebody hits a really cool club like that, please send it to me. Because then, you know, it might, it might, it might, it might, you know what I mean. 
Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the new cache. See you in Skirmish most likely or on the Face It Hub. I wish you better luck than me trying to unbox the knife from the new case. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe with the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.